for everyone. We're now hearing from members of the group that helped draft new standards in African American history lessons for Florida schools. Ashlyn Webb is in Orlando with that story tonight. Both workroom members say they do not agree with the wording used in parts of the standards. And I'm going to read directly from the standards here. Instructions include how slaves develop skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. These two workgroup members say the process to create the standards was rushed, and they're hoping the State Department of Education allows the workgroup to meet again to discuss the language used in the standards. I wish that we had written the standard in a way that explained more of what we were thinking, and we were not thinking that slaves benefited from slavery. That's not what anybody in the room was thinking. Allison Elledge, a teacher at Flagler Palm Coast High, is a member of the African American History Standards Work Group. She says the work group met between February and May, but they never voted on the individual standards. Rather, they would make recommendations, debate, and often settle to return to a standard or work group members were divided. But that didn't always happen. With a little bit more time, we could have made it sound more appropriate rather than using the word benefit, which quite frankly sounds terrible. In a statement, work group member Valencia Robinson, a teacher in Volusia County, echoed Elledge saying, quote, I did not approve of any language discussing personal benefits accrued through slavery. I did not write the standard. I did not vote on it. I wasn't even in the meeting when this happened. In fact, none of this was voted on. Monday, teachers from across the state sat in on a virtual webinar to discuss the new history standards and how it should be taught in schools. There, an education official said the work group will meet again between now and October. However, a spokesperson for the department says that does not mean there will be revisions to the standards, although some members in the original group say it's essential. We created them for the public. The public gave us their feedback, and we're just going to ignore that? That's the problem that I have. There's been a lack of transparency around the work group, including the inner workings. We requested the minutes of the work group meetings, records that should be public and readily available. But now, 12 days later, we still don't know what was discussed in the meetings, who pushed for the language in the standards, and who pushed back against it. In Orlando, Florida, I'm Ashlyn Webb. Driver